Eruptions unleashed. Yellowstone's steamship awakens. Mount Etna cracks. Yellowstone's steamship geyser, a colossal roar beneath the earth. At dawn, as mist drifted across the Norris geyser basin, an ominous rumbling broke the early silence. Within seconds, the ground shuddered, and the steamship geyser, one of the most powerful in Yellowstone National Park, erupted in a thunderous explosion of boiling water, roaring steam, and mineral-rich mist. Columns of vapor surged skyward, reaching more than 100 meters high, visible from miles away. The noise was deafening, echoing through the valley like an approaching locomotive, hence the geyser's fitting name. Scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, who were already monitoring local hydrothermal shifts, reported a sharp rise in seismic micro-tremors and ground deformation just hours before the eruption. According to data from nearby instruments, hydrothermal pressure increased by 35%, a clear precursor to explosive release. The steamship geyser is Yellowstone's loudest voice, said Dr. Elena Carson, a hydrothermal specialist at the USGS. Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. When it erupts, it tells us that subsurface heat and pressure have reached critical levels. Each event helps us understand how energy builds and escapes beneath this extraordinary landscape. The eruption continued for nearly 45 minutes, releasing tons of superheated water into the basin. Rangers temporarily closed access to parts of the boardwalk as waves of hot runoff streamed toward nearby pools. Post-eruption gas analysis revealed high concentrations of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide signs of active water-rock interaction deep underground. These chemical signatures suggest the geyser's vent system is connected to a rapidly circulating thermal conduit, possibly linked to deeper magmatic heat sources. While the eruption posed no immediate danger to the park's visitors, scientists Caution that the event could be part of a broader hydrothermal cycle. Over the past month, increased geyser activity, particularly from steamboat and echinus geysers, suggests a regional reactivation of Yellowstone's thermal plumbing system, perhaps driven by subtle magma intrusion at depth. It's a living, breathing system, Dr. Carson added. We're not looking at an eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano, but we are seeing how the upper crust releases its pent-up energy. These are the whispers of a giant beneath our feet. Mount Etna cracks Scientists warn of imminent structural collapse. Across the Atlantic, another giant stirs uneasily. Mount Etna, the towering stratovolcano dominating Sicily's skyline, is showing signs of destabilization that could have serious consequences for the region. Recent satellite radar imagery and ground-based GPS measurements have confirmed the 
Formation of new fractures slicing across Etna's southeastern flank, a region already prone to gradual slippage. The cracks, extending over two kilometers in length, are widening at an alarming rate of four, five centimeters per week. The findings released by the Istituto Nazionale di Geofisica e Vulcanologia, ENGV, have prompted warnings that a partial flank collapse could occur if current deformation continues unchecked. Such an event would unleash enormous quantities of volcanic debris, potentially generating tsunamis in the Ionian Sea and threatening coastal communities. We're observing significant gravitational movement combined with magmatic pressure, said Professor Lorenzo Battaglia, one of Italy's leading volcanologists. This dual mechanism, sliding rock over molten material, creates instability. If the pressure keeps building, a collapse event cannot be ruled out. Etna has been intermittently active for months, with continuous strombolian explosions ash emissions and lava flows spilling from its summit craters. In the last 48 hours, tremor intensity has increased markedly, indicating rising magma within the volcano's central conduit. Thermal cameras have captured glowing fractures near the southeast crater and gas spectrometry shows a surge in sulfur dioxide emissions, often a harbinger of larger eruptions. Authorities have raised the alert level to yellow and local officials have begun precautionary evacuation drills in nearby towns such as Zafarana Etnea and Nicolosi. Etna has always been active, but what we're seeing now is different, Battaglia warned. These cracks are not superficial. They are deep structural failures in the volcanic edifice. It's a slow motion crisis.